start out, you just want to make your eyes look dead. So just take a dark purpley brown color and apply that all around the eyes. And then you also want to lighten your face up. So we're just using a white face paint and just putting that all over the face. For the bullet wounds, you want to use some liquid latex and a napkin or a paper towel. And you just want to cut the paper towel into a circle and apply it onto your face with the liquid latex. And you want to let it completely dry before you start painting any color on it. And then we are just taking a black face paint and creating a dark ring around the perimeter of the napkin. And then we're also taking a maroon red color and we're overlapping that all over the whole entire bullet wound. Take the same color you used around your eyes and place that around the perimeter of the bullet wound. And then you also want to take your fake blood and just squeeze it right on the wound itself and let it drip down your face. Then using a more coarse sponge, you just want to take some fake blood and splatter that around the bullet wound. Using the same technique, we're going to add another bullet wound onto the cheek, so just repeat all the steps that you used on the forehead. We also just added a few random splatters of the fake blood around the face using the same sponge. And we really wanted to give him a zombie mouth, so we're just applying some dark face paint around the mouth and then we're adding a lot of fake blood all over the lips and letting it drip down the chin so it looks like you just took a bite out of somebody. Here is our final look for our bullet wounded zombie.